Alright guys, coming to y'all live today from my living room or my kitchen and we're going to do some uh, cracking of some matchbox cars. Yes sir, we're going to crack some matchbox cars. And first off we got the Questador, Questator, Questor, 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 ain't that a Questor. Ain't that like a some kind of, no, I ain't gonna say it. I was gonna say it like a laxative or something. Anyway, Matchbox Questor coming out. Questor coming out. Let's see what she looks like. Oh yeah. Beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. Got those blue rims on it. Good looking truck. Good looking truck. Don't know if it's a fantasy casting or what it is. I think it's a fantasy type casting because they don't have any brand logos on it. But, you know something? It does. Look at that. I didn't even know that. That's the part about cracking cars, people. You got to crack them bad boys to get the full potential. Look, it's coming at you. Get the full potential of them. Look at that awesome sauce right there, buddy. That is killer. It's got the opening hatch. I love this thing now. It's even got some suspension on it. Look at that. I love it. I love it. All right, next. Petrol. Aviation. Something 91. Flammable petrol. From the aviation, it's the petrol pumper series and the series of the little working trucks. Got the little working symbol on the side. Look at that thing right there, buddy. Beautiful blue paint. Again, no affiliation this on it that I can tell. Maybe a Ford, maybe international, who knows. But look at that thing, man. Too bad it ain't got the little pumper hoses like the like the Hot Wheels used to have, but I love it. I like it, man. I like it. It's got a little, I thought it might be something, but you see that little ridge right there? It's on both sides, so it's a real deal. Filler caps on the top. Beautiful truck, man. Beautiful truck. I like it. I like it. I like the beautiful trucks. And let's keep with the, uh, whoa, whoa. Keep with the uh, shovel and pick. The working trucks, let's do this one. A new power lift. And it is awesome. I love power lifts. Daryl J, if you ever watch my stuff, man, you're going to know it. You love them too. You know who you are, Daryl J. You know you love these things as much as I do. Me and you, son. The greatest thing about a fork lift is what? It's a fork lift. That's what. This one's tough too, buddy. It don't want to come out. Got the little protest protector plastic in the back of it there look at that thing son it wants to lift something and yes these things work yes they do i can't make it work but yes they work Go up. there it is there it is see it goes up and down yes sir buddy all right beep, beep. great little toy great little toy for the kid kiddos and for us that have been out there in the working world and have actually drove these things around and part of our jobs, I used to do industrial electrical and we'd have to put wire reels on the lifts and I'd have to move our stuff in and out of plants to, so we can work on them and I drove these things so much son, it ain't even funny. And yes, I about flipped a couple of them acting like an idiot on them. Alright, let's see. I got one in the... Uh, the in the uh, compass series I don't know and that is this new murdered out black Range Rover and it is awesome sauce I, I remember now I go from the bottom for matchbox open your matchboxes at the bottom hot wheels from the top that's the best way to do it and look at this thing that thing is just so stinking awesome that Range Rover on the front there. All the badging. Got the little green Range Rover badging. Cool blacked out wheels. 
Range Rover on the back. The Range Rover decal on the. It's a beautiful car, man. Got the Invogue badging on it. Tail light, dip tempos. That thing's awesome. I love it. I love it. That murdered out look it is killer. I love the orange one, but that one with that murdered out look. I don't know. It may be even better. My battery's finna die, so I'm finna change it out. Give me a second. Your shot's probably gonna change. So hold on. Alright, we're back. I'm sorry about that. I changed out that battery. But anyway, yeah, on with the on with the awesomeness. Alright, so let's see. The next we're gonna put up here is the city. I guess this will be like the city ones. Uh it comes with a little uh stoplight there green light stoplight but anyway this one is the toyota prius as we say in america prius the rest of the world yeah come on y'all get on board with us all right <laughs> so anyway this one is pretty cool i wouldn't normally buy a prius prius but it looks pretty good as this taxi you know, i know a lot of uber you uh not uber tubers but what is that new thing called? Uber? Anyway. I know a lot of them probably use these and they're not dressed up like a taxi, but anyway, y'all will put it in the comments below what that's called because I live in the I live in Phoenix City, Alabama. We don't have too many Uber Uber drivers, whatever they're called. But anyway, this looks pretty good, man, with some detail work on it. This little price would look pretty good. I like the wheels a lot on it. It's got that matchbox wheel look to it i like those they put these the little closed ones on some of the trucks and some of the uh little smaller cars that they have but anyway i like that taxi livery on there library ever how you want to pronounce it i like that a lot on there all right next we're going to come up with the, another one in that series the 16 fiat 500x and i like these little series they put on the side now it's, it's pretty cool i like that uh Anyway, got this 500 four-door. like it. I like the little Fiat 500s. I think they're cool little vehicles myself. I might would even own one. Uh, whoa, did you, whoa, did you see that? That sucker just does not want to hang out with us today. Somebody's texting me. All right, look at that. Somebody's texting me on our light source. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. I like these wheels too. I just put the, something that looks like that on a, on an F-150 Raptor that I, a Maestro that I got that I showed the video of just a few minutes ago. I just shot it so it'll be up probably before this one will. But a little Fiat face. Look at the little Fiat face. Oh, it's got a cute little face. I like it. Back in. Fiat logos detailed tail lights i like that i like it when the tail lights and the headlights are detailed the rest of the car y'all you don't have to do anything for me to like them uh matchbox and hot wheels but you detail the front and the back and i'm good with the rest that's the hardest part to, to do a detail on so all right next we have another part of the city's one and i love the first one and i really love this one I like this one more than the first one with the Japanese writing, I think, which that was cool too, but Matchbox Moving Company. Matchbox Movers, explore your world. I love it. I love it. And it's got a phone number on there. It's got a USDOT, a USDOT markings on it. Phone number. That's cool. Let's crack it. Crack it from the bottom. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Would you look at that? I love it, man. That is awesome. That would be hard to turn into a U-Haul, too. Sorry. I had to say it. But I know from my other one, like this thing. Oh, yep, it opens up. Got your little moving area in there. Got a working skylight in it. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. The kiddos 
the kids will have a freaking good time with that one right there, man. I know they would. I bet you, you give that to a kid, man, and their imagination is just going to go out the door with stuff they can do. You know, the little thing that makes it look like a pull-out ramp, but it's part of the part of the holding it on part, you know, and they got to rip it back here. Just got to rip it in the front, and then that holds it on, and that's awesome, too, because it makes it look like a little pull-out thing, so you can ramp it, get your stuff up in and out of there, it rolls. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. The other way, price. This is this and you get in the back press because the fork lift look at that the fork lift that's amazing with the fork lift and that moving van i'd have been happy on this set all right next up i have two two left i didn't i didn't get all of them that's in this set i know i didn't because i've seen others or in this case because i've seen others that weren't there and there's a Range Rover uh, one, I think it is, a Land Rover one. I don't know. It's the one that they're, they're, they're going to quit making them. They've been making them forever. It's their first vehicle I think they ever made, and they're fixing to stop making them. So anyway, but I'll get it. It'll be there. It'll still be there. Next up, oh yes, between this one and the last car, it's the cream of the crop here. But anyway, this is. The 4GT, they don't have the new badging on this one. So this may be an older case. I'm not sure. I don't know. They both have 410B on them. So 410, 4B10, I mean, 4B10. So I'm pretty sure that that means this is a B case. I'm not really well versed on the uh, on the Matchbox stuff. It's got 2016 on it, and so that's probably meaning this is a 2017 model, which a lot of times that happens at the year end. So anyway, let's crack it because everybody knows this GT40 and they love it, and I do too. And it may get some new shoes on it. I don't know. Those shoes kind of work with it pretty good, though, really. I wish they had, like, five dots, though, instead of three dots. If they had, like, five dots on them, so it would be, like, lug nuts. Oh, man, that would be an awesome wheel right there, too. But, anyway, it's like a three-spoke thing or something, I think is what it's supposed to be. But, look at that GT40, buddy. That is awesome. It's got the little indention in the hood. That beautiful green paint. I love this paint. GT1 on it. Little number 12. Can't go wrong with number 12. Ken Stabler. Joe Namath. Some of the greatest quarterbacks ever known to man have that. Came with that number, number 12. Got a 7 right there. I think it's what's right there. I'm sorry. I got my, my hand all in the light. The forward. Yeah, it is a 7. I don't know why that's, anybody know what significance that 7 has? If you do, let me know in the comments. GT1, beautiful car. Beautiful car, beautiful car, beautiful car. I love it. I love it. All right, and the last one. Doing pretty good, eight minutes. I usually go about four hours on it. All right, the last one. MBX uh, badge symbol on it. So it's like this emergency vehicles and stuff like that it's a 15 corvette stingray beautiful got a beautiful uh packaging on it that's another thing i like about the the uh, matchbox now they they have beautiful packaging i think anyway i think i have beautiful packaging and i messed up my little stand okay but the only thing i don't get about this okay it's got polizzi on it Polizzi, if I'm not wrong, that is Italian, right? For ask my Italian friends, Polizzi. Why would Italy want a Corvette in their stable? They can have the Ferraris and Lamborghinis and McLarens and all that stuff. But hey, I'd be proud for them to have a Corvette in their stable if they wanted one. 
representing OUS. Got the white five spokes that I love. And these are pretty cool in the white. I, I don't know if I've ever seen them in the white. Have I? Let me know if I have. Because y'all know better than I do. But it's just like the yellow and red fire chief one. Uh, except it's got the new livery on the police livery. And I like the police liveries. I like it. It's got that cool international flair to it. But like I said, I really don't know why Italy would want or France or whoever would want. Well, if it was in France, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Because, I mean, otherwise their police cars would be... Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, I love this car a bunch. I love it a bunch. I love those white wheels. I'm going to have to buy some of these for the wheels, too. I hate it. And I won't hoard 40 of them, trust me. But I'll get, I'm going to pick up five or six more of these, probably, just for wheels. And, uh... I love it because I can already think of a few cars that these white wheels were going. The Camaro in my last video with the True Flames, these wheels would look awesome on that, and probably on the truck too. The the twin truck to that True Flame Camaro, the surfboard truck white two with True Flames, beautiful car right here, beautiful car. Go out and find these cars, people. Are there any Matchbox cars? Matchbox has stepped up their game so much in the past couple of years, and I'm and I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones because I'm just now getting back into collecting diecast. I got out of it for years. I had so much NASCAR diecast from back in the day; it wasn't funny. I don't have as much as I used to have, but I do. I still have some NASCAR stuff. If y'all like to see it in a video, let me know. I'd love to show y'all some of my NASCAR diecast. It's all hanging on wall right now, but um. Hey, I'll go through the effort of getting them down and showing y'all some. I'll, you know, five, ten pieces at a time. Be glad to do it. They come out of the packaging. You can put them back in the packaging. It's very easy to do, and I don't mind doing it. They were all, the most of them that I have are made by uh, Action Collecting, Action Collectibles, and it was an awesome company back in the day. They got bought out by other people and whatnot, and it just went downhill from there. And now you can find five or six cars in a Walmart every once in a while. So it's kind of sad. But anyway, and if they're still in business somewhere in the, at the racetracks, let me know about that too because I don't, I don't get to go anymore. I'm old and feeble and I don't get to go to racetracks. But let me know in the comments below if they are or if they're not. If you like my videos, give me the old thumbs up. If you don't, give me the old thumbs down. That's okay too. That way, at least I know you're watching my videos. I love you guys very much. God bless each of you. Tell somebody you love them, preferably somebody you don't know already. And give a kid a Hot Wheel or a Matchbox. That's what they're made for. And watch their lives light up. Especially if it's some kid you don't know. Don't just walk up to the kid and give him a Hot Wheel. Ask his parents if it's all right. But, and I'm sure they'll say it's okay. <laughs> nine times out of ten i'm sorry i got tickled to that but anyway give a kid a hot wheel or a matchbox and let them know that somebody cares about them all right i love you guys peace love and happiness to all y'all and we're gonna go out with this police car hey the police they're coming after me yeah